So, hey guys, welcome back with another video on Hacktify Diaries where you get to learn about cyber security, ethical hacking and also help related to the career guidance and those who are studying, okay, those who are preparing for their CH exams or for any other certifications like EGPT and you guys are stuck somewhere, then you can just ping me or just you can drop your uh, doubts in the comment section and whenever I will get time, I will try to uh, reply or as, uh, as soon as possible, I will try to help you out. And guys, if you have any doubt related to any certification, you can just join my study telegram group where you will get all the things, all study materials. But now in this video or in this topic, guys, we are going to discuss with some important points related to the CH practical exam version 13. Okay. So first of all, guys, let me tell you my channel name is Hectify Diaries where I upload not only CH related videos, also other related, also other hacking related videos. Where you will, uh, where you learn how basically how to perform the vertical privilege escalation, what are the disadvantage of the remote desktop protocol, and if you are enabling the remote desktop protocol, then what are the uh, pre uh, pre uh, precautions precautions you need to follow? Okay, but let's talk about today's topic. So uh, today's topic is very very important for those people who are preparing for the CH practical exam, guys. Okay, so uh, now let me tell you guys why this topic is very important because those people who are preparing for the CH practical exams and those who have doubts okay like some people have purchased the practical uh, version 12 and practical version 13 and now they have doubt that the they will get the practical uh, like uh, if they will give the exam uh, for the practical v12 now so they will get the version 13 uh, certification or like that or not so let me clear you out first of all there is no changes has been made a lot there is only a tiny changes has been made in the ch v12 and v13 the reason why i'm telling you let me just show you first or like uh, this is my eye glass or like my credentials which i cannot show you uh, like uh, openly it's against the policy of the ec council but 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 first of all let me tell you guys there is no changes has been made okay now those who are telling you that there has been big changes has been happened like ai came in the ch or like something else like that so let me tell you first of all there is no changes have been made this is just uh, like uh, you can say a uh, uh, small ai part has been implemented which you can just go into the code red like here if I want to show you code road AI certifications okay the code red is a part of like you can say just in a uh, EC council is a, is a is a is a primary company or is a branch of the is a, like you can say is considered as a subdomain of the EC council only like you can see code red EC council dot org if you'll just go uh, come here certificate of the achievements rather than going for the CH version 13 AI complete certification you guys can go only for this CEC council certificate of achievement where you will see that has been successfully attended and completed the course generative AI for the cyber security which means there is no need to pay a lot of amount a huge amount to for the CH master so like it's totally depend upon you your money your uh, your everything your decision but I will suggest you that if you are preparing for the CH practical exam then or oh, sorry CH exam then only go for the practical or like if you have if you're already working somewhere or like as a working as a VAPT or already in the field of cyber security or in the same domain then I will suggest you don't put your big money in this certificate rather than going for the version 13a I just go for the practical uh, certification and do this certificate from uh, from the code red and you will get the same knowledge or I can say more than that knowledge from this code red certification and it will cost you something eight to nine dollars okay now this was the first important update that there is no changes there is nothing changes has been made in the v12 and v13 just the version difference is there and the some small parts a small a small parts of ai has been included but still i will suggest you just go for the uh, practical certification but if you want to gain complete knowledge so there are many other certifications like sorry certification i'm saying there are many other many other platforms are available on the internet which where you can go and just follow or where you can go and just uh, uh, st uh, start your study for an example uh, everyone know LinkedIn about LinkedIn about uh, Udemy and all that thing okay now the most important point is what types of questions or sorry not sorry not questions what types of things or what types of like uh, uh, it's, uh, it's scenarios comes in the exam so uh, make sure guys if you are new if you are new to cyber security if you are planning your first certification as a ch practical exam so make sure you should have a good hands-on experience with the like uh, nmap okay nmap everyone know basically nmap is a network mapping tool which help you to uh, uh, do the penetration testing on the network devices or like the ip address of the host apart from that also uh, they you need to uh, you need to, uh, you need to have a good hands-on or with the experience with the wireshark it's a packet filtering tool 
then you should also have a good understanding of bob suit which is a packet uh, like it uh, pa it's 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 do everything where uh, those who are the web application penetration testing they, this tool are favorite of them like it's used to interest intercept the traffic of the website then modifying the request then uh, uh, creating the payload sending the payload then uh, also it's used under the like uh, many other way like you can perform the web application testing with the help of bob suit you can identify what are the vulnerabilities is there like part traversal web uh, like then the other vulnerabilities so you can identify with the help of the bob suit so this tool okay like bob suit wireshark and map all this tool you should have a good hands on if you don't have then first go and uh, understand then take the practical knowledge set up your own lab and understand each and everything but at the end my only point is that guys those who are in fear that what are the changes has been made so let me tell you guys there is nothing there is no there is no big changes has been made whatever you are doing right now just focus on it don't change your goal don't change your path everything whatever you are doing just be focus on that okay so hope you understand now you don't have to get panic you do you whatever you are doing you just have to follow the same path and if you have any doubt related to exam or like if you have if you are don't under, if you are not understanding what you have to do or what from where you can get the study materials so you can just connect with me or you can join my telegram group where i where i provide the study materials okay so for today video that's it guys hope you understand and hope your doubts are clear we'll meet in the another video with a practical session as of now that's it thank you guys for watching my video this one thing don't forget to comment and don't forget to subscribe and share this video if you like this video and in your friends with your friends sorry have a great day